Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Ginger Adventures product review. Uh, today I've got the North Face Base Camp Duffel. Um, I've owned this bag for about, uh, let's say a year and a half, almost two years actually now. And to say the least, it has been through a lot of abuse. This is the small, and um, this retails right now for 120 US dollars. This again is uh, the two year old version, so the colorway or that pattern is a little bit different from uh, the camo that you're going to see on, Nordic, on uh, the northface.com right now. And I just wanted to give you guys a, a brief look at why I love this, this bag so much. Um, the, the North Face says that this is a bomber of a bag, and uh, in, in reality, it's the truth. One of my favorite things is. Um, it's a laminate, durable material, um, and it is extremely durable. I've dropped this off of mountain cliffs. I've dropped it off of the back of a truck. It's been drugged through the dirt, and, uh, and it does extremely well every single time. Um, they've thought through several key issues here to allow this to be um, a duffel for either um, a crag pack, which am I'm using it for, uh, traveling with it, or just a general just weekend bag for, for gear, for clothes, for whatever you need. And, and so those, those shoulder straps allow you to do that. And those are fully adjustable. And just like everything from the North Face, they're using highly um, premium webbing. Their buckles are more than just a plastic buckle. Really, uh, really durable there and those have held up extremely well. One really cool feature on that shoulder strap is it actually has these Velcro pieces. You can use that to actually run the, the actual line of a bladder, your mouthpiece. Um, you can run that from the backpack. You can actually have that running right there and that'll hold that tight. Um, that makes it extremely convenient. Um, the zippers that they have on here, again, are extremely tough. We'll get a close up on that. But uh, really hardy aluminum that they're using there with those zippers. Really strong teeth. I've enjoyed that. Again, they have more than just those shoulder straps. They have some carrying straps made out of a really high um, durable webbing. So in general, again, that really durable, resistant, laminated material they're using as that base um, is incredible. Um, waterproof, fa fairly waterproof. Um, I wouldn't go dropping it into, into water, but if it's snowing on it, raining on it, really going to do an incredible job. Uh, on each side are what they're calling a compression strap, but um, because I have so much gear in there, you actually, I, I don't need it to compress at all, which is a convenient factor if you have a lighter load in here, you can actually compress it down to where it's going to hold more compact on your back, it's not going to be flapping around. Um, I also use that as a gear strap. I've used that at times to put like a, a hiking or trekking pole um, and that works extremely well in there. Um, another thing is you can also put like a, a pickaxe, ice axe, um, will hold that extremely well. The bottom is an entirely different material that is even more durable in nature and uh, extremely resistant against tearing, ripping. Um, you can see that I've been dragging it um, across rock, dirt, uh, for a long time now. Um, there's the, the end shot. Got handles on every single end. Um, multiple places to grab. You've got additional tie down areas so you can actually, if you wanted to, you could add more paracord and, and you could actually strap more onto the pack itself. Um, I guess it's wrong to call it a pack. It's really not, it's a duffel bag. Don't expect it to feel like a pack. Um, if you're gonna be wearing it like a backpack, oftentimes that gear that's right there is, is uneven and a little bit uncomfortable in the middle of my back, so it definitely doesn't ride like a pack at all. Um, waterproof, water resi resistant, I guess, ID slot. So even though this is the small duffel bag, um, I think it holds really enough for uh, for what I need it. And again, I'm using it as a as a crag pack, 
as even a camping bag when I go car camping. I haven't used it to travel, um, as a lot of people do use these. It holds 50 liters, and I want to show you guys just kind of what, how much I've got in there right now. Um, that first accessory pocket, it's always convenient that it has that, uh, that quick accessible clip for keys. That way you never have to guess where your keys are. I've got a lot of gear in here. I've got several different chains, a lot of different climbing gear, Grigri, locking beaners, ATCs, all kinds of webbing. So in that small pocket alone, I've got seven different carabiners, a descender, four different um, chains of webbing. That's really nice that it's actually gonna be a mesh pocket. So in case that gets wet or anything spills inside, that'll dry out or just allows for that to be breathable. I've got, again, I've got more gear in here. I've got some more quick draws. That's a full rack of, uh, of 12. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six harnesses, some more webbing. I've got two chalk bags, one, two, three pairs of shoes, two more chalk bags, some more short cord, some sunscreen, um, belaying gloves. Again, this is 50 liters of space, and I think it's really more than sufficient for what you'll need for um, even a, a multi-day climb. So go North Face, really an incredible bag. I mean, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, please always, you know, let me know what else, what else you guys want to see. Comment, like, and subscribe. And as always, adventure on. Thanks. Yeah.